Welcome guys! Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to show you now is how to fix the issue of not receiving any email after you migrate your GoDaddy domain name to AWS. So if you remember, uh, for you to use your GoDaddy domain in AWS, is it to instance using Route 53 or using AWS LightSail? You need to update your GoDaddy domain name servers and one of the common problem after doing that is some of the or most of the developer encounter a scenario wherein they are not receiving any email after that so one of the reason is because maybe you haven't set up yet the other DNS record and now, what I'm going to show you is how to do that. So, in your browser, log into your GoDaddy. So now, after successful login, just click your uh, name here. And then click My Products. So it will show you your domain. And then... As you can see here, this is my domain, and then click on your this icon, and then and then go to email and office. Click that link. It will show you the uh, personalized email that you bought from GoDaddy if you already have one, which is a, which I assume you have since you are in this tutorial. So as you can see, there's an. Uh, Notification here saying contact at techproperty.com can't receive any email yet. We okay, there is also a notification here saying that uh, this email doesn't have any uh, settings yet. So, what you need to do is just click this link. Let me fix this. And then it will navigate you to set the mail destination for your techprep.com. So now what we're going to do is instead of setting the using the GoDaddy as your email destination, we will now set our AWS as our mail as our mail destination. Okay, so now it says here that log into our account with your current DNS host, which is in our case it will be AWS. And then see, these are the following records that we need to populate in that uh, host, which is in AWS as well. Okay, so let's do that. So in AWS, so here I'm going to log in now. And then after successful login, if you're using AWS Route 53, uh, then there's uh, there is a domain name or hosted zones that you need to update. Also, if you're using AWS LightSail, you need to update your domain uh, hosted zone. So basically, they are they should look the same. So now what I'm going to show you is here in Route 53. So I have one hosted zone here, as you can see. So click this hosted zone link and then it is now showing my hosted zone which is techprep.com click this so it will navigate me to this uh, hosted zone records so what we need to do now is go back to godaddy and follow this instruction so first thing first we need to add a txt record so to do that let's cap uh Go to AWS, click Create Record, and then it says here that the record name should be the at sign. So click at sign, and then the record type should be TXT. And then for the value, let's copy this D9433979. Okay, and then save it. Okay, after successfully save, you will now see it as in the list of your DNS records. 
and then let's add another one so in the host zone click create record click at uh, in the record name put the at symbol and then in the record type select txt again and then for the value paste then the next one in the godaddy which is the v equals spf1 include secure server dot net dash all so basically if you are using godaddy this should be the same whatever your domain name or email so you will have the same setup or say the same record we all have the same record so click the create record okay it says here that the domain name the dns record txt already exists so if this is the case what we need to do is if you remember we already created one before before this a txt record this one just edit that select that and click edit record and then just press enter in the value and then in the new in the next line that's where you paste the the value okay don't for uh, don't forget to put a double quote saying this is a new record so that's how the aws determines uh, the separation and then click save okay and then also we need to do cname so for the cname let's go back to uh, route 53 and then let's create a new record so the subdomain it says here is email click that one let's set email and then this is the value email that secure server dot net okay let's remove the space and then instead of a or txt let's select cname and click create records there you go and then also we need to do the following mx record so this is the most important one let's create a record and then an atos uh, enter the at symbol and then this is a mx record so let's choose a record type of mx spe specify smell servers okay so as you can see there's a uh, priority here so to enter that in route 53 just press 0 and then space basically that's the separation and then the target and then paste the value here and then save okay it's it is now saved the mx record so we need to add another one as you can see there's a new one so it's 10 and then this is the value so we just need to edit the mx record it's already selected click edit and then the next one is enter 10 and then the value mail store and then hit save there you go so what we need to do next so now semicolon here uh, no quote double quote here just press uh, enter to move to new line and then the last one is the SRV record so let's create record and then now it's a SRV record type so the name is at so that's the subdomain okay as you can see there's like a pattern here that is that aws is already showing you so we can just follow that pattern so it says here that so the first one should be the the weight so one and then the priority is the next one which is 100 and then the next one is the port 443 and then the next one is target 
So we don't need the protocol here because that's automatic. Make sure that you don't have any extra space. We need to delete that. Okay, and then create record. Now it's saved. So after doing this, you can try sending email now to your uh, test email to your uh, personalized email from Godaddy and that should fix the issue. You should be receiving your email now. Feel free to drop your comments if you have any question or this uh, tutorial doesn't fix your issue. So let me know. Just drop your comments and I will try to answer it. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye.